welcome. Today I am going to be sharing my homeschool haul that I got. We have a tax-free weekend here in Tennessee and I just got a few things and one of them was a big purchase but I want to share that with you. I'm also going to be sharing um, an unboxing of the science which finally came in for my seventh grader and also just a little clips of our first day of our slow start of homeschooling. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Welcome to Learning with Boys. My name is Rachel. I am a homeschool mom of four boys getting ready to start our 17th year of homeschooling. There's, it's definitely going to look different this school year. As they get older, it really starts to look different every school year. I actually have graduated too, and this school year I will have my third senior and a seventh grader. I am going to be sharing some things that I have purchased. I do do homeschool videos past and present. So if you enjoy homeschool content, I would love for you to subscribe. If this video is helpful, you give it a thumbs up. That would encourage me. So let me show you my purchases um, and the unboxing and just talk a little bit about how we slow start in our homeschooling. Okay, so what I purchased is probably going to look quite different than I would have purchased like 10 years ago, which would have been a lots of notebooks, colored pencils, um, definitely printer paper, which I did purchase again, which has anybody else purchased printer paper and realized the price has doubled, if not more than doubled in price. So I have bought in a box of it before, but with just one, hopefully this will be enough. I do have some left over from last school year. So some other office supplies that I did purchase, um, just needing to organize myself a little bit and I have a couple of adult boys that are still home right now at this point that like my oldest just purchased a filing cabinet my second son needs to start systematically um, filing things for himself which he has started but I was trying to help him trying to get some things that would benefit him a little bit more and that is of course the hanging folders and just some file folders so that we needed definitely i have wore out what we have had i did purchase some pretty file folders i fell into the the pretty <laughs> and this is for myself because i have done this i'm going to grab this real quick i have this file box and they actually, I really like them because they do stick up a little bit more so I can see what I am needing for just our own paperwork and things that we file for our home. And we have a filing cabinet, but this is more accessible to me just weekly and daily. And then I can do the big filing at a different time. So just trying to keep a little bit more organized, which like I said, I've been doing this. Um, I just, we all needed extra file folders. so. I did make a list, I think I talked about it in my last video, for my seventh grader. I know I needed a notebook, I know I have a few more. This is actually a three subject notebook, so I'm thinking this may be enough. Um, I also already have note cards still, I think he may need those this school year. This was one thing <laughs> I definitely needed, it's upside down, sorry, but a hole puncher. and. This one, I haven't even looked at it. I haven't opened it. But this one was like only $4.44. There was another one I picked up in the school department, which was 12 something. And when I got back to just like the regular business part, um, where I got the file folders and things like that, I seen this one. I'm like, well, then I picked it up. And I'm like, well, it seems a lot heavier than the other one. I think the other one's handle was a little bit more stuck out, you know, that nice push down. But I was willing to save a lot of money and I felt like this feels heavy, so prayerfully it's, it's a good, decent one for what I need. So we have pens, probably not like sets of pens or organized pens, but every house has a lot of pens and they are somewhere and we will find them. But my son does like to use, he's already pulled one out, these Sharpie gel pens, my seventh grader. So I purchased those and also 
I got him a planner. A student planner, weekly planner. I just got it at Walmart. I really was thinking, what am I gonna do? I really need something for him. And we looked at it. He is plain and simple. Um, we looked at another one and he's like, no, this, this, this one's fine. <laughs> but I personally liked it because I'm probably gonna be the one that's writing in it the most, just the daily plans. And I liked the big spots for each day. It was not, I think it was under $7, has a calendar, has Saturday and Sunday, like if he wants to look into the week. But I really am hoping and planning on working on the next level of independence for him this seventh grade year. So I think this will work and be what we, what we needed. So my big purchase was a printer and I really, we have a very nice brother inkjet printer over here, but it only prints black and white. I purchased it several years ago. I know I had it when I started videos on this channel, which my youngest was going into fourth at the time. So we've had it for a long time. It's um, Wi-Fi, it works great. I actually found it on clearance at Walmart. Um, I really suggest if you're looking for a printer or anything like that, sometimes, or anything with uh, in the electronic department, to check for clearance sections. Sometimes they just need to clearance them out to bring in the updated models. So it's been a great printer. Um, we've used it a lot for different things and even my college boys will use it to print out things that they need. So, all right, so I needed a color printer. And why did I need a color printer? I needed to print off my son's map trek maps. Um, and I just like the idea that he could have them in color. I really think it helps. Um, we've been using this with our curriculum, Heart of Dakota, um, for years with my, his brothers. We used it last school year. I actually went to the library and printed them off. But I started looking, I just thought, I'll go back and just check and see how much a, a cheap color printer is. And it was $40, so I thought, well, I'll wait till tax free weekend. And I got a Canon. I don't even know much about it. I just look, actually, I usually really review things. But I thought if it can just print the little bit that I need, which was that notebook, and maybe a less than a handful of times throughout the year, I might need something that's not quite as large as this notebook printed out. So I think it'll work. I, this is another thought, and I don't know for sure, but I seen the printer in the school supply section. I was like, oh, that's the printer I wanted. It's up here. But it was $10 more than I had looked at. It was $49.99, so I thought, huh. So I went ahead and put it in my cart and I rolled my cart back to that electronics section and there was the printer for $39.99 and I thought, hmm. And I feel like maybe it was marked down. I cannot remember that part. I wish I could tell you for sure. So I thought, hmm, I am just going to, because this has happened to me before, if you pick something up in one section and it's priced, it'll ring up that price. But if you pick it up in this section um, where it was $39.99, so I put the... <laughs> one from up front there i mean that's where they were and grabbed one from the back and it did ring up the 39.99 so i will tell you that so that is what i one of my other this was my big purchase and really that is all i got for supplies for the school year so let's look at the science that came in and i will open the box up for you if you are interested this is for my seventh grader okay this is a curriculum exploration education and it is a physical science curriculum now this is more for the fourth fifth and sixth grade but this is the curriculum that is in my son's seventh grade guide if you're interested I will link my seventh graders picks for this coming school year and it might talk about that a little bit but I actually called Heart of Dakota who this curriculum is they have it scheduled in their guide and it was the oldest son of the lady who wrote the curriculum and he said oh yes I love that curriculum so much that he wanted to do it again in high school which is more of the seventh and up our seventh through tenth and I thought man if it qualifies for a high school curriculum I just don't know if he's going to be ready for that so we decided to just stay with the standard physical science I know one of the differences this curriculum will be a four-day 
and the high school is a five day and comes with more in the kit and there's more videos. This is an online program. I am going to show you what's in the box and I will probably talk about this curriculum. Once we have done it for some time, I can give you a review. So now it is all, they do have a teacher's manual. There's a student book down here, but it's a hands-on curriculum. You follow the directions on the computer. They actually, of course, will talk about the different physical science that you're learning, and then you have something to build, add on to, and things like that. So lots of different, I know they build like an electronic car. There's some things about electricity. So it definitely was not, I will tell you, it was not as big as I thought but the reviews have been great so i think my son who just needs a real good introduction of understanding not just building things but actually understanding it that this will be helpful so this is a solar fan so that looks like that should be good so this is um i have it upside down the stu standard physical science this is the student logbook, and that's another thing it will help you um, teaches you how to do a log book. So just giving you a little breeze through that. So that is all, well, let's see, this is, I think this might be some stickers that will go on what you're building over here. So I just wanted to give you a little peek at that. Okay, I am going to go ahead and explain how we do a slow start. As I am just sharing this clip with you, our first lesson, we're doing language lessons for living from Masterbooks, this is both. This is new to both of us. So we are sort of looking over that and the schedule. So with a slow start, usually what I do is we just pick a couple subjects. And this school year for my seventh grader, it will be math and his language arts this week, just especially since the language arts is all new, it'll be an introduction and just see how he does with it. And then just reviewing math from last year. My 12th grader actually will not start for a few more weeks. He, his majority of his work will be dual credits. He is doing a couple things with me. So I'm gonna give him that time and just to get to my seventh grader where he needs to be. My goal this year is really to work on his independence and helping him. And he, he did a great job with it today. Uh, um, it is funny with middle schoolers. You know, you wanna laugh. You want to have joy in the moment, but you also have to remind them as they're growing into young men that we need to take this seriously. So he, he, he does have a sense of humor and today was a lot of writing. So it was sort of funny to hear his stories. Okay, with a slow start, it can really look different. There's no rules in how you need to do it. And I really didn't start it in my early homeschool years. I started it a little bit later, um, but especially with my high schoolers when my oldest was in high school i would start him first because i really wanted just like i am with my seventh grader i wanted him to make sure he independently could handle what was given to him and especially if it was new make sure he understood it and then i could add in my younger ones i know the years we did co-op like they would have science or geography or a history and we would start school a lot earlier than the co-op so we would just start our basic subjects like english and math and then once co-op started, they would have those subjects starting. This process is very helpful when you have a lot of littles, just doing a few subjects at the beginning and then adding in later. That way you can sort of see how much time everything will be taking. All right, I do appreciate you all watching. I would love for you to comment below, have you started school? Um, maybe you're still waiting on some curriculum. Maybe you do a slow start, I would love to hear. Um, ages and how you implement that into your homeschooling. So I do hope you all have a wonderful week and we will talk to you again soon.